National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, Director General, ham on excellence news reportage across media industries in Nigeria. The Director General of National Broadcasting Commission, Charles Igwebu, has charged journalists to uphold the highest standards of journalistic excellence and professionalism in their various places of engagement in media industries. Igwebu gave the charge on Tuesday while declaring open the training workshop for the broadcast journalists which was a part of events marking the official inauguration of the glorious radio FM station in Abakliki. He recalled that over the years, Nigeria has made a remarkable journey towards achieving excellence in the broadcast industry, and to us advise media practitioners, especially those working in the new radio station, to use the platform to promote value, uphold social cohesion, encourage people coexistence, and deliberate the societal heritage. He urged the management and staff of the new radio station to remain authentic in storytelling, impactful education, and entertainment of all Eboyans and beyond. Um, I hope that Glorious 88.3 FM will live by this vision. Let this station become a powerful stage for authentic storytelling, impactful education, and empowerment of all Eboyans. Let it be a medium that fosters positive change, encourage inclusivity, and showcases the cultural richness of this state. As a regulatory body overseeing the Nigerian broadcast industry, the National Broadcasting Commission welcomes you to the growing family of licensed broadcast stations in Nigeria. We urge you to uphold the highest standard of journalistic excellence and professionalism, including balanced reporting, fairness, and audience satisfaction, as articulated in the Nigerian Broadcasting Code. This commitment is not only the hallmark of responsible broadcasting, but also a powerful tool in building public trust and credibility and to us to advise media practitioners, especially those working in the new radio station, to use the platform to promote value, uphold social cohesion, encourage people coexistence, and deliberate the societal heritage. He urged the management and staff of the new radio station to remain authentic in storytelling, impactful education, and entertainment of all Eboyans and beyond. He emphasized the need for them to use the medium to foster a positive change, encourage inclusivity and showcase the cultural heritage of the state. Be assured of NBC's continued support. Together, we can strengthen the broadcast industry, aligning it with the highest global standards and fostering a media landscape that reflects the aspirations and values of our nation. Once again, congratulations to the directors and management of higher Edge Broadcasting Network on this significant achievement. We look forward to seeing Glorious 88.3 FM serve as a vibrant, trusted voice in Ebony State and beyond. Thank you, and with that, I declare this training open. Delivering lecture at the event on dynamics in digital broadcasting, the former NBC Director General and Chief Executive Officer of AFIA Television urged media practitioners across the globe to run away from analog mindsets by having digital brand and dynamism. He furthermore advised the media practitioners to always ensure they generate rich content that would be relevant to their audience. So the topic is that dynamics of digital broadcasting, the digital ecosystem, um, what's happening within the digital ecosystem position. Your branding has to be, you have to look at yourself beyond simply a radio station into a media brand. <coughs> um, many years ago, the folks at Guardian newspaper came to me and they said, oh, um, we need help. Guardian today has a TV, she will not know. Yeah. Um, right. Punch. Punch has perhaps the best online media presence. Punch. Yes. In fact, if you look at the Punch pages on social media and the Punch TV content, it's better than Afia TV that claims we're solely 100% TV. 
point is a newspaper. So when their reporters go out, they're trained not only to report the news, but they're also looking for visual references. Also, the NBC secretary, Franca Aitan, who delivered lecture on understanding the broadcaster's responsibility to the public, called for a regular training of the media practitioners on diversity and inclusion, community engagement and feedback mechanism, collaboration with various organizations and experts, inclusive hiring services, among others. Why do people want to go into the business of broadcasting? What's their interest? What do they want to do differently? We already have over 700 broadcasting stations operational, running every day, most of them 24 hours. And so I wonder, what is it? Somebody already said, um, sometime in Lagos, a um, couple of years ago, our former DG here said that content was leaving television. Content was leaving television, and he has already explained to you. One lady sat here, says, I mean, for more than a whole week, she has not watched her TV. So you ask yourself, what is the purpose? But then, if content leaves television, content is somewhere else. There's still content. That's what it means. So the importance of everything that we do is content. So why do we create the content that we create? An American scientist, I'm quoting him now, says, I love to think of nature as an unlimited broadcasting station through which God speaks to us every hour if we only tune in. So what, what did I take from this quote? It's that everything that broadcasting encompasses is about life. It's like an extension of our life. It's not just acts for acts, it's acts for life. It talks about what we are doing, how we can do it better, what is also happening in another place. Um, McLuhan says it's a global village. It's already becoming a global palm health and all of that. Earlier, the chief executive officer of the Glorious FM, a private radio station in a Boeing state, architect Edward Ikweku, commended the NBC DG and other media professionals at the event for their determination to advance the standards, ethics, and future of the broadcast industry in the country. He noted that journalists, particularly the management and staff of the new radio station, are currently at a critical junction in the media landscape, one marked by rapid advancements, emerging technologies, and evolving expectations from their audience. It's a privilege to welcome Mr. here today especially the Director General of the Joint Broadcasting Commission and members of NBC joining us here in the Economy State for the very first time. This gathering represents a historic moment and I'm honored to be part of this forum that is set to advance the standards, ethics and future of our broadcasting industry. As we convene today, we find ourselves at a critical juncture in the media landscape, one marked by rapid advancements, emerging technologies, and the evolving expectations from our audience. With these shifts come new opportunities to connect, inform, and inspire, as well as challenges that call for resilience, integrity, and a renewed sense of responsibility. The agenda we have before us over these two days is both timely and essential. It reflects our shared commitment to navigating this dynamic environment with accountability and purpose. Through the expertise of our, of our presenters and the collective insights we will share, we aim to deepen our understanding of our roles and responsibilities to the public, 
enhance our knowledge of the MEC code and reinforce the standards that define ethical and responsible broadcasting. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to everyone who has gathered here today, particularly uh, these three speakers who have brought with them a wealth of knowledge and experience. Your presence reinforces our shared dedication to upholding the highest standards in digital broadcasting. And I'm confident that this engagement will lead each of us better equipped to serve our communities and our nation. He encouraged the participants of the workshop to ensure deeper and meaningful engagements. We could charge them to be leaders in fostering a media environment that prioritizes both innovation and accountability, striving to shape a future where broadcasting continues to serve as a pillar of trust, a source of credible information, and a force for positive societal impact. Benita will Zero TV. Here we offer you news on both local and international happenings. We bring you politics, religion, social cultural events, project work, live documentaries, documentation to your doorstep. Why don't you follow us on our YouTube channel, The Mirror TV, or you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or at The Mirror TV. You can as well contact us on 081 65 The Mirror TV is time to give you the best.